Hi, my name is Fresno and uh, I am Retro. And today I'm going to show you how to operate this uh, custom build arcade uh, joystick with integrated Raspberry Pi. First, I'm going to explain how to connect this to your TV. You need HDMI and you connect that one first. It's really important because uh, when you plug in the power, it will uh, send the signal to the TV that it's uh, HDMI uh, active. Like this. And once the Raspberry Pi boots up, now you see it sends the signal uh, automatically to the TV. If you have that um, new TV set, like me, ta-da! <laughs> Once the system boots up, you will notice that uh, there is a black border around uh, your uh, screen. And uh, depending on uh, your type of uh, TV, you can uh, adjust it. But mine, for instance, you just go into uh, menu and then I select uh, screen adjustment. And uh, I have put mine on uh, full screen. That's because uh, I'm using PCs and uh, stuff to this TV. But if you adjust this uh, to 16 uh, uh, 9 uh, ratio, then uh, you will have, uh, you see now the black borders is uh, gone. Then you're set to go with this uh, Raspberry Pi. My uh, button layout is uh, uh, after uh, the famous uh, Super Nintendo. It's, this is player one and this is for player 2. Here you have uh, A, B, X, Y, left trigger, right trigger, select, start. And for player 2 it's the same. A, B, X, Y, left trigger, right trigger, start to select. Okay then, let's uh, select the game. Uh, you uh, select system with uh, left and right. And when you boot up the Raspberry Pi, it starts with uh, A, and then some uh, Amiga, it's uh, the lower left at first, and then you can scroll left and right. I want uh, Nintendo, for example. And you select with A, and uh, cancel with B, and then you, you will go out. You can also um, select the uh, system uh, here, with left and right. So let's start with the uh, Super Mario. Ah, uh, the, I have already scrolled to S, but if you want to scroll uh, to other letters, you can press select, and here you can jump to another letter. So let's uh, take S. Why not? I want to play Super Mario. Super Mario. Then you press uh, A, select. Uh, the screen um, it's uh, too sharp it's because I have a new TV set so um, let's try to make it more uh, retro you, you exit the game with uh, select and start uh, simultaneously that's uh, when you want to change games but now I'm gonna set up uh, the screen to make it more uh, old school uh, TV CRT Press B to go out from uh, to go, come out to Retro Pi. Then you go to Configuration Editor. Here you can you have two different uh, configurations. This is the basics and advanced. But if you go to advanced configuration, I think you need uh, the keyboard. But uh, configuring basics here you can configure it for uh, all your systems so that they use uh, the same settings or just uh, one and I, I just want to uh, test this uh, NES so I go to NES and uh, here you can see that video shader enable is false let's put it on true and select the shader 
and I like, ah, oh, there's a CRT pipe. Sounds good. Get this uh, all the CRT screen. And then just uh, select B, cancel, and get out from the configuration. B again. Let's go back to Nintendo. Super Mario. Now. I should be able to play a little bit better. Yeah, here you have it. Old TV set. No. <laughs> <laughs> <Bad. laughs> <Talk> to that. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Okay, that's it for now. I think I have uh, covered uh, the most basics. Next time um, I'm, I'm going to explain how to uh, install Raspberry Pi with uh, RetroPi.